and trying to be positive, what do we do about suppressing our emotions? We, we are not, we do not want to suppress our emotions. Ultimately, what we want to do is to transcend our emotions. So suppress is pushing your emotions down. It's feeling anger, for example, or any other emotion, and then just allowing it to hurt you from the inside. The emotion is there. It's a lot of emotional energy that now is trapped in the body. But for whatever reason, either to appear to be positive or because you physically can't do anything, not acting it out. And that's very dangerous, suppressing emotion, any emotion. And this is normal, right? Because you're going to be in situations where you're going to become angry or frustrated and there's nothing you can do about it. Not just that it's not appropriate, but you physically will not be able to do something. It might be at work, it might be at home with family, whatever, friends, strangers. You might be watching a video on YouTube and it'll make you angry. So what do you do? Again, we don't want to suppress emotions. We want to learn to transcend them. You don't try to fight the fact that you're angry or upset. So you have to first and foremost acknowledge your feelings. That's the first step. Acknowledge your feelings, first step. And then that brings a certain level of awareness. Now, as you acknowledge your feelings, instead of identifying with them and being consumed by them, you're beginning to create a little bit of space between you and your emotions. Now you're stepping back and looking at your emotions. So there's a little bit of space now. And the process of transcendence now is initiated. You have to acknowledge your emotions instead of suppressing them. Suppression is to not acknowledge. It's to just allow it to fester inside without really being acknowledged. You have to acknowledge the emotion and then process it. How do you process it? And acting out in anger, acting out in rage, it doesn't really solve the problem. It will only perpetuate that emotion inside of you. Whatever you're feeling, if you act it out, it's not going to free you from that emotion. The, the right path is to process it. So you acknowledge it first of all, and that's the most important thing. By saying, okay, I am now experiencing anger. I'm feeling anger. And I, I prefer that over saying, I am angry. Because now, again, you're identifying with anger. It's bringing you into a lower state of consciousness. So say, I am experiencing anger. I'm feeling anger. First, acknowledge step number one. Step number two, breathe. Just breathe. And then relax and continue to breathe and relax. And allow that emotion to come out of you through your breath. Your breath is sacred and it can heal you and it can free you and it can liberate you. So breathe and relax. And then step three, once you've surrendered in that process, step three, then correct yourself with the right thoughts. You know, remind yourself of the truth because if you are angry, for example, in any negative emotion, it brings you into a diminished state of consciousness and you're not able to think clearly. So you have to let the mud settle. You have to let the water settle so you can see clearly again. That's step two. Once you can see clearly again, once it's settled, just through breathing and relaxing, now you can now address yourself or address the situation properly and then remind yourself of the truth, right? If someone did something, you'll see clearly at that point. You know, the person is unconscious. He's acting out of his own pain. She has her own issues. It doesn't need to affect me. Or so-and-so did such and such a thing. May Allah forgive them. For Allah's sake, for the Prophet's sake, I forgive and I accept Whatever was happened was destined. You know, and then you just, whatever you will have, then your knowledge comes in. Then knowledge can save you. But it won't help you when you're in that emotion of anger because then we're reduced to a lower level of consciousness, uh, a more uh, base level of awareness that, that where higher thought is not possible. So we first have to just relax and breathe and process. And this is processing your emotions, not suppressing them, but process them. And it will free you. This will liberate you. You know, a person may be going through anger and frustration for years. And if you just take a moment to process it, it will free you. And know that if you act out of emotion, out of anger or any other emotion, you're only going to perpetuate the circumstances that created that emotion. When we act out of an emotion, we are affirming whatever it is that caused that emotion in us or that triggered it. We're affirming the reality and the power over that thing and we're increasing it. Whatever you give energy to is going to increase. What you take energy away from begins to decrease. So a lot of life, is, this is life. This is, how we, this is how we become tested. This is how we become trained and cleansed and raised and purified. If, you didn't, if it wasn't required of you 
to be patient, how would you develop patience? If it wasn't required of you to forgive, how would you develop the capacity for forgiveness? If it wasn't required of you to be forbearing or strong or compassionate, how would you develop those attributes in yourself? And the development of those attributes is how we move closer to Allah and away from ourself. The self, the nafs, is afflicted by all of these negative emotions, the opposite of the attributes of Allah. The nafs is impatient, it's angry, it's merciless, it's tyrannical, it's oppressive, it's fearful, it's weak. All of the attributes of Allah, the opposites of those are the nafs. And by developing those attributes, we're distancing ourselves from the nafs, from ourselves, and moving towards Allah's light and presence, oceans. Allah is merciful, and I think with Toba, uh, you can we can be cleansed and healed rather quickly, and we you can actually repair a lifetime of darkness in our lives. You know, with a little bit of change in a short amount of time, Allah's mercy is great; His power is great.